Hello again. Welcome to my humble tutorial on Pixia. Right. Uh, as promised, today we're going to learn about the selection tools over here. As I mentioned before, the selection tools are a bit painful to learn. Uh, usually, if you don't have the patience, you probably would have given up really easily. So let's try not go for that and let's learn how to use it, okay? Now, first of all, this is your freehand connect. A freehand connect allows you to just simply combine with the pen tool and then do your drawings right here. Alright, so this is really easy. It just means you just use your graphic tablet pen or your mouse and then just scribble anything like this. Okay. Next one is the selection to the box or the square. For other softwares, you probably just need to click this and then drag your shape around and that, that's it. It was really that simple. But for the case of Pixia, they can go a little bit uh, difficult to understand. So what you do is, you just select the selection box, click and drag your shape, and your lines are ready for you, but they are not yet done. Uh, more, more to say, they are not yet complete. So how to do this, you have actually two ways to do this. One is you click the fill bucket and fill the area with your color. Uh, in this case, my color, I select the blue. Now, if I deselect this, click this deselect, you now have a blue box. If I do this again, and this time I use the line, you see, there are two different things. One is fill, one is line. If I click the line, you give me the square borders over here, and when I click deselect, instead of a blue filled box now, I just have a blue box with a white color fill. The rest of them are pretty much the same. You see, you use the selection line, you dot from one end to another, and then you also pick up the line tool, and then press deselect. For the circle, it's the same. Just make a circle. You can either just click fill and unselect, deselect, or you can just draw again, fill it with line, and then deselect one more time. This is how you do it for in Pixia. Now, if you're using the polygon tool, you have to start from a point A, a starting end. And then you notice it keeps on going like this. Okay, you just point to another end that you like and keep on doing this until you have closed back to the starting point, which is right here. Now, once you've done so, you see it's still popping out, right? All you do is on your mouse or on your tablet pen where there's a right click button, you click that once. Now you see the shape taking place, and you can simply go for the fill or line again. Now if you see the little square boxes over here, uh, this allows you to alternate, do some adjustments to your polygon. Now if you're seeing this little cross, that means you click and move any way you like. If you click this, that means it's just to alternate your shape. Okay, once you achieve the shape that you like, click again your fill or your uh, line, then click deselect. Okay, so that is for polygon. Next one is for the bezel tool. Start from one end and then start from another and then from here, just click, drag your curve lines how you want it. For the free bezel tool, just draw a curve line and then it will give you the little boxes right here, see? So you can adjust them to the ones that you like. Click line, click deselect. If you're using the wire, wire is really a bit complicated. It's a little bit like polygon but it's more flexible to let you do your shape and remember once for polygon and 
this wire you need to click right click once and then you can deselect it or you can just cancel it when you're not doing this okay the last one is selection seed so let's just see it's a little bit like our normal fill bucket but this case it just wants to make sure the area you that you fill is not covering everything see right now on this canvas if I click my fill bucket now see the whole screen turns black so if I only want this to be filled with the blue color I just hit select seed and then just click the area that I wanted to cover to fill it with color. Uh, remember that you want to close all your lines together, make sure there's no gap outside, then you can do this. Now the gray area is just showing you the parts that is not selected and the white area is the part that is selected. If you click this outside border, you have two other options. One is entirely black, uh, I mean entirely white, or two, you'll see the checkers uh, effect but I personally like this one because this one will definitely show you where you need to fill your color. Now this one is just the area that you wanted to color. To fill it with color, then you have to you click the fill bucket over here and then remember to press deselect again. Yes, uh, pixel art is a, is a little bit complicated like that. Now because you, your last selection was this, if you want to draw something, please remember to use back the freehand connect. Now for the select feed and then the feed bucket, fill bucket, you probably notice something over here. You see, let me zoom this out a bit. See the little gaps here, they are not filled. What you can do, you can just manually do so. So pick a manual tool and close all the gaps together. Okay. So when that is done, then you can get out of it and if I don't want my fill to look like this I don't want it a solid color I can always choose a tone filter so let's select this again and choose a tone filter now see you have some options let me try this one and then fill it and deselect see this is the effect so you can play around with the rest of the uh, effects to see what sort of tone filter effects they have. Or maybe if you want a distant effect, you can also do so. See, it's pretty cool, huh? So that's pretty much about it. And for here, this is your zoom in, this is your zoom out. So uh, if you have questions about the selection tool, especially like you're using the circle, you're wondering, I'm doing an oval shape. Can I rotate it or tilt it to, like, say, to the left or right? Uh, I'm sorry to say, for this software, it's a little bit impossible. You see, I try to make it rotate, but it's not really rotating. Now, even if I point my mouse or my graphic tablet pen to here and then click my right click, it doesn't seem to give me much options either. But if you click right click on your tablet. You do have the same fun uh, options over here. You see the fill is this, line is this, and then the tone filter is right here. You also have copy, paste, delete, and trimming. Unselect or invert your selection. So you have a few options over here. But in this case, I don't want this, so I hit this select. And that's pretty much how you use it on the selection tools. So basically, you have an good idea on how to use Pixia starting from the uh, palettes, the tone distal, the color wheel, the brush size, the layer properties and now you know some of this. The last one I'm going to cover up for the time being are these functions over here. So take care and uh, have a good day.